There is no magic in being very wealthy. It's hard work, it's vision, and you gotta do it ethically. So it's a very slow process that get, get you there. But I realized that there was so much more opportunity back home, so I decided to come to Tanzania and start and join the business, the family business, where at that time my father was the one and only person that was running that business. I, I like how you mentioned that you came back for the opportunity to come back home and, yeah. and assist your dad with the business, yes. but more importantly you had a vision. Yeah. And that vision was to not only assist your dad with his company, yes. but to help assist your people and your country. Very much so. And you've managed to do that. Yes, very much so. One thing I'm very proud of is not the billions. One thing I'm proud of that METL Group employs 24,000 people. Mm. This is 4% of formal employment in Tanzania. And life equals to life. You cannot tell me that a child in the US his life is more valuable than a child in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done big things. We had two secondary schools. We've gone to 22 schools. I give scholarships to half of the kids mm. uh, in my constituency. They go to school for free. You know, we've been fighting HIV. We've been fighting malaria. You know, water, what took me there, you know? I mean, I've spent a couple of million dollars. Accessibility of water was 23%, today it's 83%. Mm. And God... You know, I actually don't believe in legacy. Mm. You know, I don't believe in legacy because I believe that when you die, it's all over. You know, at the same time with wealth comes responsibility. And that responsibility is to semi-distribute that wealth to people.